Good Wednesday morning everyone here with the 11 o'clock update for potential tropical cyclone 9. As of this 11 a.m. advisory still not organized enough to manage to get to that tropical storm status. A Hurricane Hunter aircraft did manage to go and check out this system early this morning and still couldn't find that organized center to upgrade it to tropical storm Isaias. But by this evening, it is anticipated to get there. Still maintaining wind speeds at 45 miles per hour as it makes its way past the Windward Islands and off towards the west northwest, eventually forecast to make its way through the islands of Hispaniola. Now, as we've been saying all morning long, this is a very mountainous region. There's a lot of mountains in Hispaniola and mountains cause friction and that when it interacts with tropical systems, not its friend. You can see that here with the timestamps. It does weaken significantly as it makes its way through Hispaniola and the latest forecast cone from the National Hurricane Center, which shows you an idea of where it's supposed to go and its intensity has been pulled back a little bit. The intensity they pulled back slightly. So as it makes its way closer to Florida, the peninsula of Florida now carrying winds of 50 miles per hour. That's what it's forecast for earlier. We were looking more so around 60 miles per hour. The other change as of 11 o'clock shifted slightly more south. So the latest track from the Hurricane Center is favoring the European model a little bit more. So it's looking more likely that it will head close to the Gulf of Mexico or along the western side of the peninsula of Florida rather than out to the Atlantic, but that definitely is still a possibility. So let's talk about the European model a little bit. I'm showing you the GFS and the Euro. They're both in pretty good agreement. Here is potential tropical cyclone nine. By this point, it should be tropical storm ECAS. Now it is going to go down towards the south of the peninsula of Florida and potentially come on the western coast of Florida. It does look to fall apart though as it makes its way into the Gulf of Mexico. It is going to have to interact with a little bit of wind shear and also a cold front that is going to be to the north of our area and starting to push down towards the south. So there's a lot of factors going against this storm. For now, we could just get a lot of rain as we head into the start of next week, but it's still something that we really need to pay attention to as it is forecast to maintain a good bit of strength as it makes its way closer to the Florida and Georgia line. So where could this storm go? Spaghetti models in pretty good agreement as it makes its way closer to Cuba. But then once it gets closer to the peninsula of Florida, this would be by the weekend models start to disagree. So some bring it out into the Gulf, some bring it out into the Atlantic, some bring it up the peninsula of Florida. A few bring it through central Georgia. So there's still a lot of questions as to where this could go until this storm gets its act together and gets a an actual organized center. The models already don't even really know where to start. So there's still a lot of uncertainty in this forecast track. Either way, as I mentioned for now, it does look like we will pick up a lot of rain area wide anywhere between one to four inches of rain upwards of maybe locally heavy amounts upwards of six inches of rain over the next few days. So it is looking more likely that the United States will see some sort of impact from this storm. What it will be, that is still to be determined. And if any impact is still even to be determined. But as we head into the coming days, be sure to stay tuned to the forecast as we will be continuing to update you on air and online on potential tropical cyclone nine.